in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select T.J. Watt. Pittsburgh Steelers' power-packed outside linebacker T.J. Watt is a force to be reckoned with and one of the most dynamic defensive players in the game. If there's one thing that's for certain, you don't want to mess with T.J. Watt. Let's start this off with a quick look at his stats and family life. Often dubbed as Peanut, the outstanding athlete was born Trent Jordan Watt on October 11, 1994 in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, United States. Son of Connie and John Watt, T.J. Watt, now 28, is a Libra for all you astrology folks out there. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall and weighs just over 250 pounds. Fun fact, he also ran a 4.6940 yard dash at the NFL Combine, beating out his brother J.J. Watt's time of 4.91. Family is very important to T.J., and he is said to be very close with both his mom and dad. Miss Watt started off working as a secretary for a building inspection company, working her way up the ranks to eventually become the company's president. Not bad. She currently runs JJ's charitable foundation. Mr. Watt is now retired, but served on a fire brigade for 25 years of his life. Talk about a hero. As many of you football fans probably know, football is deeply rooted across the Watt family. TJ is the youngest of three brothers. His two older brothers, JJ and Derek, both played at Wisconsin, and now all three brothers are currently playing in the NFL. Derek plays with his brother as a fullback for the Pittsburgh Steelers and was selected in the sixth round by then San Diego Chargers in the 2016 NFL Draft. He signed with the Steelers in 2020. JJ is a three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year and five-time All-Pro Defensive End who currently plays for the Arizona Cardinals. He was selected by the Houston Texans in the first round with the 11th overall pick in the 2011 NFL Draft. TJ was teammates with Derek at Wisconsin from 2012 to 2015. Growing up, TJ played multiple sports. He actually loved to play ice hockey. He was a center and was apparently a very good one playing for traveling teams that competed in tournaments in Canada and Europe. He decided to focus on football after ice hockey's practice, game, and financial demands became more than what his family could afford. He attended Pewaukee High School in Wisconsin, where he was a very good student. From there, he went on to major in retailing and consumer behavior at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. TJ was a three-star recruit and didn't have quite the hype coming out of high school that JJ had, but he was still a phenomenal athlete. Let's be honest, if your last name is Watt, you are at a minimum going off to play D1 football. Time to take a look into his college career and achievements. To some people's surprise, TJ was originally recruited by the Badgers to be a tight end. He was unfortunately injured as a freshman and had to sit out his entire first year. But in 2015, Watt started the season as the redshirt sophomore and he was moved to defensive end. This ended up being a pretty good move by Badgers coach Paul Christ, as he ended up leading the team in sacks that year. Not bad for a sophomore. Things escalated quickly for him as soon as he made the switch to defensive end. He would subsequently become one of the most explosive players in all of college football. After his junior year, when he posted an impressive 11.5 sacks, an interception, a few forced fumbles, and a defensive touchdown, Watt announced that he was going to forego his senior year of college eligibility and enter the 2017 NFL Draft. NFL Career TJ Watt is a three-time Pro Bowler for the Steelers and had one hell of a 2021 season, tying the league's all-time single-season record with 22.5 sacks and earning Defensive Player of the Year honors. TJ also registered 64 tackles, 21 for loss, seven passes defended, and five forced fumbles. Despite missing two games in 2021, he tied the single-season NFL record for most quarterback sacks in a season. He recently suffered a pectoral injury, derailing the start of a spirited 2022 campaign. But there's every reason to believe that his tour of NFL dominance will surely continue once he gets back on the field. We wish him a speedy recovery and know that TJ is just getting started and has a lot more that he wants to prove. Let's check out his contract and endorsement deals. The Pittsburgh Steelers signed Watt at $9 million initially, and he was the 30th overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. Ahead of the 2021 season, the Pittsburgh Steelers gave its star LB a deserving raise that'll keep him in the black and yellow for an additional four years. 
Let's review the numbers of Watt's monster deal. The quarterback signed a $112 million contract extension, including a $36 million signing bonus, $80 million guaranteed, and an average annual salary of $28,2750. In 2022, Watts is earning a base salary of $15 million and a restructure bonus of $9 million. He also landed some lucrative endorsement deals soon after joining the Steelers, adding to his remarkable net worth. To name a few top-notch brands, we have Reebok, Subway, and Six Star Nutrition. He's made some $1 million through these deals alone. And as his NFL star rises, Watt is surely going to earn more brand endorsements, which will definitely boost his earnings even further. For his entire net worth, you must stick around to the end. So, how does he spend all this cash? After signing an NFL contract, many players indulge in a life of luxury, purchasing fancy cars, the finest clothes, and extravagant houses. But despite being the reigning NFL Defensive Player of the Year and raking in a four-year, $112 million contract last summer, Watt doesn't let the fame and fortune go to his head. He understands the value of staying humble and living below his means. He spends most of his money on cars and tattoos. Peeking now into his personal life. Earlier this summer, Watt tied the knot in a beachside wedding ceremony with his longtime girlfriend, Danny Rhodes. The couple has been dating for several years. Rhodes, now 24, is a former Wisconsin Badgers soccer player. According to People Magazine, the couple said I do at a resort in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Getting to a fun fact here, soccer players appear to be preferred for the Watt brothers, as JJ Watt is also married to a fellow professional soccer player. Watt is available on Twitter with a total of 498.3 thousand followers and 1 million fans are following him on Instagram at TJWatt90. He's also there on Facebook as well with a huge fan base of 121 thousand followers. He frequently updates his social media profiles with daily life activities. Interestingly, when Watt won the AP Defensive Player of the Year trophy, he became a social media sensation overnight. It was largely a landslide vote and reinforces the fact that no defender had the type of impact Watt had in 2021. You guys would love to know that TJ Watt and several of his Pittsburgh Steelers teammates went dark on social media as a New Year's pledge to raise awareness about screen addiction and cyberbullying. Pursuing the campaign at 20U, the Steelers players committed to cut down on screen time starting December 29, 2021 and running through the end of the NFL season. Let's now see TJ Watt at Community Work. When it comes to the kids at UPMC Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh, linebacker TJ Watt has a soft spot. During these winters, the patients were treated to a meet and greet Steelers linebacker TJ Watt. Each kid received a limited edition New Era hat designed by Watt himself, along with books and blankets to help keep them comfortable during their hospital stay. Every specially designed hat purchased on the Steelers' website resulted in a $5 donation to the UPMC Children's Hospital Free Care Fund, which helps to cover the cost of free and uncompensated care for underprivileged children. A year ago, Watt also was seen helping deliver food to families through 412 Food Rescue. The Steelers' official website posted the photos. Moreover, he's also active at JJ's Charitable Foundation, a family venture started by his brothers coming to his other business interests. Like most other NFL players, Watt has ventured for his own merch, including jerseys and football cards. Now, at this point, you people must be getting excited about his net worth. TJ's net worth is currently estimated at around $10 million, but with $80 million guaranteed over the next four years, this number is going to be skyrocketing quickly. If you happen to learn anything new about TJ in this video, please subscribe and leave a like as it really helps out the channel. We appreciate your support. That's it for now, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and peace out.